myself Timmy Chauksi. I am Assistant Professor in LGIT. Welcome to session number 7 of Tachymetric Survey. Student, in this session, I have explained a few topics of Tachymetric Survey like Substance Bar, next is the Theory of Analytic Lens and Stadia Constant. This is the last session of Tachymetric Survey. So, here I have covered a few topics of Tachymetric Survey. So, first, Substance Bar. Student, uh, sometimes you know that determination of the horizontal distance using the uh, uh, tap or chain, always you have find the horizontal distance uh, using the chain or tap, but sometimes uh, a field condition very difficult, terrain condition very difficult, so uh, you have uh, you not directly find the horizontal distance using the chain or tap. So this uh, in this condition, you have one uh, taken one uh, instrument like a substance bar for finding the horizontal distance of the instrument station to the object. So determination of the horizontal distance using substance bar is advantages in a rough terrain where direct chaining or tapping is not possible and the accuracy required is not high. This type of condition you have used the substance bar. So now uh, what is a substance bar? I have uh, ex explained in detail what is the element uh, of substance bar, what is the principle of substance bar, I have all, uh, explained in detail. So first, the substance bar is an instrument used for measuring the horizontal distance between the instrument station and the, a station where the substance bar is to be set up. Means here I have one uh, given one example like um, um, I have uh, means uh, I have find the distance between A to B. So here I have set up the uh, instrument station like pure light at a station A and at a station B I have set up the uh, substance bar instrument. So now you find the distance between instrument means uh, instrument like pure light and where I have set up the substance bar I have find the distance between them. So Substance method is an indirect method of distance determination. We means directly not uh, like a chain or tap is a direct distance measurement method. But substance bar is an indirect uh, distance determination method. So now I have explained a uh, few elements of the substance bar like spirit level, site when means any date, here two disk is used means uh, two target are used. So target in a, uh, in a target in a front uh, color to be painted by the color of uh, uh, pink or uh, uh, white and in a back side uh, some substance bar uh, red or some in a black. So the two disc is used. The length of the substance bar is the most important part. The length of the substance bar is a 3 to 4 meter. So uh, you do use the or in available market 3 to 4 meters. Uh, size of the substance bar is, uh, and uh, the tripod is the one element of the substance bar. So here uh, actually bigger of the this is a cross section of the substance bar here this is a tripod and this is a substance bar. So you have find, uh, find the distance between the instrument station to the substance bar. Now after the uh, knowing the all the elements now what is the principle of substance bar. So here assume that you have find the distance between T to T, T capital T means is the instrument station and this uh, S means the substance bar. So find the distance between substance bar to instrument station. So uh, you assume that the, the instrument is a use uh, is a theodolite. So now using the theodolite you have find the horizontal angle between target 1, target 2 and instrument station means A, T and B. What is the A? So A is the target 1 and B is the target 2. So now find the horizontal angle. You know that what is the procedure of horizontal angle using theodolite. I have already explained in a theodolite session. So you have find the theta between the A, T and B. Now this is a horizontal row. Means it is a distance you know that I have uh, explained already. The substance bar size is a 3 to 4 meter. So you have take the S equal to 3 or 4. Now capital D you have to find 
so using the uh, triangle rule so tan theta 2 tan theta by 2 equal to s by 2 divided by d i have taken uh, half triangle so tan theta by 2 equal to s by 2 divided by d or i have make the subject d so d tan theta theta by 2 equal to s by 2 so uh, d equal to 1 half s cot theta by 2 what is the s so s is the size of the substance bar length of the substance bar and d you know that the, this is the horizontal distance between the instrument axis to the substance bar now this is a final equation of the principle uh, of the principle of the substance bar you have only put the uh, value of theta so you directly find the horizontal distance between the two points so this is uh, uh, all about the substance bar i have repeat substance bar is a uh, finding the horizontal distance and it is the indirect uh, distance is a uh, distance measurement method and its principle is d equal to 1 half s cot theta by 2. Now next theory, theory of analytic lens. Student in this, th uh, in this theory I have covered uh, why means where the uh, stoichiometric constant b means f plus d equal to 0. So when you use the additional convex, convex lens in a uh, between the between the eye eye piece to object piece is called the analytic lens. So ad additional convex lens called as a, called as the analytic lens is provided in the external focusing telescope between the eye piece and the object glass at fixed distance from the lat uh, later to eliminate the additive constant. Means here uh, our main goal is eliminate the additive constant because you have give the simple formula is d equal to a s. So therefore, the analytic lens are used from the distance formula in order to simplify the calculation work. Because larger number of points to be covered on a uh, on a which means with, with using the stoichiometer. So all the time you have find the formula and put the value. So this is a lengthy process. But uh, taken out analytic lens, so this is a simple process because here f plus d equal to zero. So here you know that the main equation is a d equal to f upon i s plus f plus d. So d equal to a s plus b. So a equal to you know that f upon i and b equal to f plus d. But here when the using the analytic lens, uh, you know that f plus d is eliminated. So only equation is d equal to a into s. So when uh, where uh, when the example is given on a GQ exam or any exam, so uh, written as the in this tachometer using the analytic lens. So directly we have taken the constant b equal to z. Now some advantages and disadvantages of this uh, analytic lens. You know that the advantages is the analytic lens is the value of additive constant f plus d can be made equal to zero. So calculation work is a simple. But disadvantage is the some blurring are there because some extra glass or extra lens you have added. So some blurring are added. So the uh, Due to this blurring reduction in a image, so observation light is a decrease, so it is a disadvantage. But its advantage is the directly you have calculated the formula uh, or simplified the formula. Now some disadvantages are there. Second is the external. I mean, uh, you have add the external lens, so your uh, initial force is high of the tachometer. So this is a small theory uh, in, of analytic lens in a tachometer. Now the last theory of in this session or in this chapter steria constant. So then you know that there are two types of means two steria constant one is a equal to f upon i is your multiply constant and second is a f plus d is, is the additive constant of the instrument. Now you know that uh, you have find the f i and d means f equal to focal length i equal to steria intercept and d equal to horizontal distance between instrument axis to optical center of a lens so you have find the uh, f i and d so the value of multiply constant you know that generally multiply constant means a value is generally taken as a hundred and the value of b means additive constant is generally taken 0 to 0 0.6 kilometer now Find the FID, there are two methods. One method is a laboratory method and one is a field method. So first method I will explain laboratory method. Student, you know that find the steria constant means A and B. Measure three uh, points are required. One is a F, 
one is a small i and one is a d f is a focal length small i is a steady i interval and uh, d equal to horizontal distance between instrument axis to optical center of the lens so you have find the three things so in a laboratory first you have find the focal length focal length of the lens f can be determined means of the optical bend according to the equation you know that in a 10 12 sand, standard you have already ex, uh, uh, ex, uh, means already you have studied in a 10 12 standard uh, 1 upon f equal to 1 upon u plus 1 upon v lens diagram equation means 1 upon image distance plus 1 upon object distance so directly uh, find, uh, use this formula and find the f means focal length of the lens second you have find the i means steadia intercept so in a steadia diagram upper cross hair minus lower cross hair band you have find the difference between them so to use the vernier caliper so you directly find the steadia interval and last you have find the capital d you know that what is the distance between uh, what is a small d so this is the distance between horizontal distance between instrument axis to the optical center of the lens so you have directly find the using the tap or vernier caliper so in a laboratory method you have find the focal length small i and d small uh, small f means focal length you have find using this formula small i and small d is find by the vernier caliper or tap now second method is a field method now uh, you know the student some manufacturer uh, manufacturer of the tachometer is directly you give the constant a and b value so now you have check on a field so the field procedure are there so find the capital a and capital b so first you have set up the instrument at a ground station here i have taken a uh, taken a ground station as a p1 so i have set up the instrument station at p1 now i have taken two staff station and i have uh, take a distance d1 and d2 and fix the staff staff station on the uh, point of the on on a ground like example q1 here is a q2 uh, mistake i have written q1 here consider as a q2 so i have arranged the staff at q1 and q2 of distance d1 and d2 from from instrument station so p1 to q1 is a d1 and p1 to q2 is the d2 distance now i have take uh, using the tachometer and try to find the staff intercept you know that upper reading center reading and lower reading i have difference uh, take a difference of upper cross hair and minus lower cross hair so i have get the value of s1 at a distance of d1 similar that i have get the value of s2 distance uh, of distance of d2 now you know that using this formula d equal to f upon i s plus f plus d you know that what is a f upon i is a multiply constant i have taken a value a and f plus d is a b so find the formula uh, d1 equal to as1 plus b and d2 equal to as2 plus b so you have already you have measured the distance d1 and d2 so put the value of d1 and d2 so find the value uh, and already you have find the using the tachometer s1 and s2 so put the value of d1 d2 s1 s2 so you clearly find the value of a and b so here by solving this equation value of a and b are determined i have taken already uh, i have taken one example from pre, uh, in a previous session but i have uh, just i uh, explain in a over uh, explain of how to find the uh, steadia constant a and b here you know that the distance is a 45 and 60 staff intercept uh, staff reading is given so here s1 means uh, upper reading minus lower reading so it answer is 0.45 and s2 is a 0.60 and d1 and d2 are already measured here i have taken d1 equal to 45 d2 equal to 60 staff interval i have find 0.45 and 0.60 so put the value in this equation and i get the answer a equal to 100 and b equal to 0 this example i have already uh, explained in a case number 1 uh, in a previous slide or previous session so uh, you watching this video so you have clearly understand this example in this session i have already overview about the how to find the steadia constant on a field you have write the all the procedure in a point wise but here i have only taken a uh, diagram so you clearly understand so thank you student 
in this video i have explained uh, substance bar and analytic lens and how to find the steady constant there are two methods one is the laboratory method and one is the field method so thank you so much watching watching this video